want those who engage the dastardly trades of importation, exports, cultivation, processing, manufacture, trafficking, sale, and consumption of illicit substances to stop forthwith. Or they should be prepared to contend with the NDLEA. The NDLEA will safeguard the nation and our women and youths from the drug menace. That is a task that must be done. There is an African proverb that says, a good day shows itself early in the morning. It looks from all indications that General Bubak Mawa's tenure will be more impactful than his antecedents. Has Nigeria finally found the man who will conquer illicit drug traffickers and peddlers in the country? On the 18th of January, 2021, Brigadier General Mohamed Bubamawa assumed office with a mandate to finally put an end to drug peddlers and traffickers in the country. At the beginning, Mawa had summoned all commanders in the states of the Federation and Special Command to set his administration's agenda and strategizing ways to fight drug addiction and abuse, giving marching orders to the officers to mop up illicit drugs across the country. While charging them, he said it will not be business as usual, as his new leadership will not spare any drug peddler or trafficker, saying his administration will ensure they are brought to book. It is not going to be business as usual. It is a moving train. Please, let nobody stand in its front. The train will crush any such persons. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. To the unbending drug crime perpetrators, I would like to let them know also that the game is up. All commanders must be desirous of keeping drugs out of Nigerian streets and homes. And so all of you must shape up and get all those engaged in the nefarious business to face the music. And I need results from now on. Our maximum will be offensive action. This means we must all go out constantly on the offensive against the bad guys. From all indications, Mawa, who was chairman, presidential advisory committee for the elimination of drug abuse, a former two-time military governor of Borno State, and now chairman CEO NDLEA, came fully prepared as there have been commendable breakthroughs in the interception and seizure of huge qualities of illicit drugs. In a very short time, Mawa has been able to confiscate numerous quantities of illicit drugs and arrest suspects who were intercepted by officers and men of the agency. On the 1st of February, a cocaine cartel was busted and nabbed at the MMIA. The suspect, Bright Oyekachi, concealed 3.30 kilograms of illicit drugs in T-shirt stickers. He was intercepted upon his arrival in Nigeria from Sao Paulo, Brazil, via Addis Ababa. On February 18, 2021, team camport officers of the agency intercepted 40 parcels of cocaine weighing about 43.1 kilograms and valued at 32 billion naira after days of surveillance. They laid in wait for the clearing agents to show up and pick the consignment, which arrived in Nigeria from Brazil on a vessel tagged Spa Scorpio, thereafter effecting their arrest. In the same vein, the NDLEA Abuja Command carried out several raids in the city's black spots, discovering hideouts of several drug dealers and making several arrests in the Guarimpa, Kubwa, Duse, Buari, and Karu Abatua areas of the city. In River State, 23 bags of compressed blocks of cannabis sativa weighing 621 kilograms with a street value of over 17 million naira and 0.029 kg of cocaine were uncovered in a warehouse in the Abuja estate of Portakot Metropolis. On 20th of February 2021, the NDLEA nabbed the drug baron named Chidi Olife, who had been on the run for 10 years and is currently cooling his head in the agency's custody in Lagos. Recently, three parcels of cocaine concealed in false bottom of a traveling bag by a drug trafficker 
was intercepted and a suspect arrested by the NDLEA officials of the MMIA Lagos. The impact of the NDLEA's new initiative and strategies towards eradicating the drug menace has been felt practically in every state as the agency has been getting numerous accolades from sister agencies both within and outside Nigeria. Mawa had said the exponential growth in the use and trade of illicit drugs and substances can be directly linked to the upsurge in insecurity, terrorism, kidnapping, cultism, political thuggery, gangsterism, rape, and other maladaptations bedeviling Nigeria today. In a quest to solve the high rate of insecurity in the country caused by kidnappers, bandits, and terrorists, the NDLEA boss had sought support from lawmakers to achieve its core mandate, and the Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, had raised the alarm that drug barons were responsible for funding criminals in the country. While acknowledging the fact that the agency's officers work under intense pressure and temptation from drug traffickers who have huge sums of money to dispense and bribe their ways with, Brigadier General Bubamawa has promised to make the welfare of his officers a priority. Within the ambit of existing financial constraints and the authorization of the appropriate superior authorities, I want to reassure you all that your welfare will be given utmost attention. Roots TV went further to the streets to ask Nigerians what they think about General Bubamawa's efforts so far and what the agency should focus more on. In Zone 5, you go there and see what drugs are, what, they are, what, what Nigerian boys are doing. In Zone 5, Zone 5, close to Access Bank. So please, if NDLA can do that and get those boys out of that place, Nigeria General will be happy and appreciative. He's a good man. He's doing his best. He can't kill himself for Nigeria, but he's offering his best. But he should add more. NDLA has a little bit uh, gone down. But this is on board now. He's, he has taken charge. We have been seeing all you know, decisions, even to the extent of going to Oba Palace and discover a cocaine there. You know, he has, he has, he's really doing the work. But he has to do it a little as if uh, I hope he's not with. I hope he, I hope he's not with hunting anybody. I hope it is not a political opponent that they are going to his house and uh, do all those kind of uh, search and arrest all this. But all around, they should go anywhere that there is information concerning cocaine or hard drugs. Should be expecting much from him because Nigeria have been facing uh, uh, the, uh, so much problems of, on drugs. So we expect him to do better than the, the way he met the organization. Uh, the abuse of drugs and um, uh, marijuana, uh, you know, uh, youth are. Uh, uh, drastically taking uh, drugs and it has so much effects on them. So we expect, we expect him to, you know, uh, through sensitization and um, other means he can take to curtail the excessive use of drugs. I think we've seen we've seen a lot of changes in the in his activities, in his fight against uh, the drug barons, and it's actually moving closer to the roots of those people that have been cheated in the past. And I think to a larger extent, so far so good. We have to give him kudos for what he has done so far. The airport uh, monitoring and surveillance, in respect of uh, cocaine pushing and hard drug pushing. Then moving into the interiors where we have people that have massive land areas cultivated of uh, India hair. And these people have been covered in the past by some security, by other security agencies. But I think this time around, he's uh, getting his bearing. In the past, there have been several agency heads who come into office blazing hot, but later become part of the establishment just upholding the status quo. Nigerians who Brigadier General Bubama was tenor would not be one of such. Perhaps his will be a tenor to be forever positively referenced and benchmarked as the hallmark of great public service.